What is going on, guys? Welcome to Brass Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a three-leg parlay for Saturday, August 12th, 2023. Here at Pit Dogs, drop the most free pick videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button. Drop a like. It helps us out a lot. All these plays in this video are, are more of leans, not my favorite picks, but if you do want my favorite plays, the picks that I'm betting myself personally, go to pitdogs.com, click the premium pick section, or click the uh, link in the description. You'll find all my plays there. All righty, man. It's Friday. My favorite day of the week. Don't have too much too, too much planned this weekend, but uh, I'm ready to roll into the weekend and uh, win, win some money. That is the goal here. Uh, for today's parlay, we got a NFL game, an MLB game, and a UFC play, so a nice variety. Nice variety on a Friday. Um, so let's get right into it, man. Game one, we got the Bills versus the Colts. I believe it's the first game of uh, tomorrow's preseason slate. Starts at 11 a.m. for me. I'm pumped for that. But give me the under 38 and a half. The Bills are starting, uh, starting some starters, but... They will not be playing Josh Allen or Diggs for my reports. Um, Kyle Allen and Matt Barkley are the Bills' backups. I don't see them running up the scoreboard too much in this one. Um, on the other hand, we got rookie quarterback Anthony Richardson who gets to start for the Colts. Look, I went to Florida State, so I, I, you know, the Gators are rivals. I hate the Florida Gators, and Anthony Richardson did come out of Florida, but so so I may be a little biased here. I'm just not high on the guy. I, I think he's a good athletic. Um, athlete but you know he wasn't that good in college the, the dude couldn't throw the ball in college a lot of people are high on him i i think anthony richardson's gonna be a bust that just may be the florida state fan of me i'm not high on anthony richardson um so i don't know we'll, we'll see how he does in this first preseason game but the, the boy throws the ball far but he doesn't throw it at that nfl level where um he's accurate and consistent so i'm not high on anthony richardson they do got gardner Minshew though which i do like gardner Minshew. um he will get some playing time in this one, I assume. He may do some damage, but not enough to push this over. So give me the under 38 and a half. I am interested to see what Richardson does, but I'm calling the bust. I'm calling the bust. Go Knowles. Game two, we got the Braves versus the Mets. The MLB has been killing me so badly lately that now I, I, I just need a win in the MLB. So give me the Braves money line. It's one of the squarest plays on the board. I don't care. I need a win. The Mets are fade material for me all season. Um, especially in spots like this when they're <laughs> facing a good pitcher like uh, Spencer Strider. Um, he gets to start tomorrow. And, you know, this this Braves team has dominated this Mets team uh, in the recent past. They are playing a close game right now. I believe last time I checked it was 0-0. Let me get a score check on this uh, on this Mets Braves game. I assume the Braves will pull this one out. Okay, still 0-0. Yeah, we'll see how that one goes. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, <laughs> I'm just fully off this Mets train. Uh, they're they're already a big disappointment this season, um, and after what they did on the trade, they had, uh, what they did at the trade down the deadline just shows me that they don't really care about this season too much. It seems like they're just focused on the future, which is understandable. Um, even if they kept all those guys, I don't think that um, the way it was looking, I don't think they would have made a push. So, give me the Braves money line. It's juiced up. I don't care. Game three, going to the UFC. This is another juiced up play, but it's a parlay, so it's fine. <laughs> Give me, we got Terrence McKinney versus Mike Breeden. Give me Terrence McKinney on the money line. So Terrence McKinney, he's lost three of his last four fights. Um, but I believe this is a this is a nice play for the UFC to give him a favorable matchup. Um, just, just to get this guy back on track. McKinney is one of those guys that the MMA fans enjoy to watch, enjoy to follow on social media. And the UFC knows best that to, to grow their business, they need to build stars in this organization. Um, so I think, you know, Dana and the, the matchmakers, they wanted to give McKinney an easy fight to, to get him back on the winning track. You know, like I said, he's, he's lost two in a row, lost three out of his last four. If he loses this one, I'm not saying his career is over, but it'll be a major, major setback. You lose three fights in the UFC in a row, you could get cut. I don't think McKinney would get cut if he lost this one, but, um, you know, you're, you're, on the, you're on the chopping block there. You are on the chopping block there. So give me Terrence McKinney over Mike Breeden. That'll do it for this parlay, man. Game one, we got the Bills versus the Colts. Give me the under 30 and a half. Game two, Braves versus the Mets. Give me the Braves on the money line. Match three, we got Terrence McKinney versus Mike Breeden. Give me Terrence McKinney on the money line. All right, guys, that'll do it for me. Enjoy your Friday. Have a safe weekend. Call your mom. Call your dad. Tell them you love them. Um, and I'll catch you tomorrow.